Hey guys and welcome to our video all about Robocop vs Terminator for the Super Nintendo. Did you say you've never played this before? I've never played this, no. You, you've I've had, had a little bit of a go on it. <laughs> I've got, uh, you, you've said that now, it came highly recommended a minute ago. Well I did it for a live stream like about six months ago mm. and the game was a lot of fun but I was getting too tired to continue on and then I just never went back to it. Yeah. So I actually got like past the first couple of levels, I think. So it's not not an entirely difficult game, but it is um, frustrating in, in like parts. Right. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> like we're not reading any of this. Yeah. Attempting I mean, to fall <laughs> human resistance as Skynet sends a squadron of Terminators into the past. Whoa. These Terminators rise, arrive in the OCP offices and lure Robocop into a battle with the mighty Ed 209. Oh, shit. I can't believe this hasn't been a film already. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't, like, pick this up. I mean, what do you think that is? I don't know, because, well, I mean, the world building in Alien and Predator, why those two work so well is because Alien is so far in the future that, you know, Earth is going to look like it does back in the 80s when yeah. Predator is set. Yeah. Oh, wow. Whereas what? in Robocop... <laughs> Right, so, uh, no, right, okay. Oh, what happened? I, I, thought, I, I thought I was doing really well then. Oh, were you? Was that the demo? <laughs> That's the demo. <laughs> it was because they started shooting when they started shooting. <laughs> right, okay, this is off to a good start. Come on, hurry up. Well, but yeah, no, in the, in the world building, Terminator and Robocop. Robocop's set, like in an alternate universe. Right. Like, there's, like, the world has gone to shit. Really, like, because of, like, money and big corporations and all that. Whereas Terminator, I think everything's fine until AI kicks off in 1997. All oh, right. Okay. So they don't—they don't quite in the backstory. But versus movies don't have to actually like follow that kind of yeah, lineage. Yeah. They can be their own thing. I think the, the the kind of the silliness of the idea kind of supersedes the idea of canon almost, doesn't it? Exactly. So I mean, I mean, do the I mean, you know better than me. Do the Alien versus Predators films? Do they consider themselves canon? They like, actually, so they are retconned because of Prometheus, right? Because you've got Peter Wayland, the founder of the Wayland Company. In Alien versus Predator, you've got Charles Bishop Wayland. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, that's that. what I was going back to Robocop versus Terminator. Like that, that works because they just need to make it its own thing, and it's like. For some reason, Robocop and Terminator have always, a lot of fans have seen those two together mm. because of the uh, the robot aesthetic. Oh yeah, it's that kind of, they both kind of fit into that, what do you call it, that sort of tech noir sort mm. of thing, like... Uh... Tech noir, exactly. Yeah. There's um. Well, isn't that the name of the club in, is that what the genre kind of gets the name, isn't that the club in Terminator called Tech Noir or yeah. something? Technoir. Yeah, which is a great name for it. Sub -genre. a little subgenre of these sort of really the kind of, these sort of very eight. Now we think of eighties sci-fi, that kind mm. of dirty, yeah, sort of grungy look. <laughs> look at the size of that gun he's holding. So look at it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pop it away, and so uh, yeah, Ooh. like that. Ooh. <laughs> well, I always find it weird, like thinking back to the RoboCop movies. How like they were 18s, like they were rated 18 in the UK. Yeah, because they are gory. Like the first two Robocop oh, yeah. are dark yeah. movies, but you're like this, like it's such a almost kid movie premise. I'm surpri surprised they didn't actually make them uh, as like PG 13s or whatever. Well, I guess then you get Robocop three because that was that was the only right. one I that was the only one I saw as a kid, and as a kid, I I loved that film. It's just, it always it's, fascinates it's funny, me. It's like it sounds it... like a, a Saturday morning cartoon name, doesn't it? Yeah. And now, but then you watch the film, and there's like nudity, and there's blood, and mm. <laughs> a lot of well, a lot of violence, and but it's still called RoboCop. And it's always just one of those yeah. like weird. I, I would call it like an anomaly in like Hollywood, like that managed to get past all of the barriers to then get released as an adult film. Yes, it is, it is strange, think, isn't it? Guys oh, out. okay. They're sneaky little buggers. Sneaky little buggers. Because like the Terminator, I can see why they could get away with that because it was like more of a horror premise. Mm. Like, kill a ro like robot skeleton comes back from the future to kill someone. Yeah. Specifically, and it goes on like a hunting spree. For and there's something kind of I don't know more inherently silly about a film called RoboCop. Yeah. I mean, it is it's stupid, isn't it? Like. Yeah. There he is. Oh shit. 
we're now seeing what we what we start this game for. So it's only two levels long. We get it. Oh, you're not going to skin off. Oh, awesome. He's slow. He... Mm. Oh no, his eyes come back on. That's true to the movies. They always knock yeah. the Terminators down. Yeah. Need a few. Okay, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Then you're in. Got my little gun. Ah, oh, that's the classic Robocop pose. Really weird. It's almost like that. Almost as weird as the Han Solo. Yeah. Classic, like, <laughs> his fucking arm like that. You know. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. <laughs> I love her a bit more. I, I, did you know me and uh, Ansel watched the original Ro He'd never seen the original Robocop. Okay. Uh, yeah. He'd never seen the original Robocop. Oh, really? And I was like, how have you never seen that? So he, um, we started watching it, but he'd seen the remake. Right, oh, so he'd seen the remake without even and seeing I the haven't, first one. Yeah, and I haven't seen the remake. So what we did was we juggled watching the remake and the original at the same time. So we watched like the opening 15 minutes of the remake, <laughs> although the original, yeah. then 15 minutes of the opening of the remake, then 15 minutes more of the original, and we did that, and it was the most <laughs> horrible... Such, such a strange... <laughs> a hideous way of doing it. It was such a horrible way of viewing those movies because, like the re like the remake had some had some interesting ideas. Yeah. But my God, was it dull compared to the old one? The yeah, old one yeah. was so much more like engaging. It's it's fun because it's got that fun. it's got that Paul, Paul Verhoeven sort of satire, like and sort of just ridiculousness. Yeah. Oh, Robocop Two is really good as well. The original. Uh, I haven't sequel. seen that probably since I was like I can't really remember that very well. I remember there being like a big stop motion robot that oh, I thought is, was yeah. really cool. It's got a brain in a jar in the middle of it. It's hilarious. It's more about oh these bullets just just they just go everywhere. It's a kind of about like a like a a new drug or something like that. It's all it's really I, dark. If I remember correctly, there's remember. like a new drug and there's this like almost Bugsy Malone kid type gangster character who's like swearing his ass off and he's like a kid and he's the like one of the villains. <laughs> it's like, oh, really? yeah, and you're like, Robocop's going to go and shoot this kid right in the face. <laughs> but um, no, he, he doesn't do that. But like, they hint at it a lot. Like, oh God, that's what he's going to be doing. Yeah. Um, but no, the stop motion's really cool in it and the robot designs and it's like, you know, it's a uh, it's good campy fun. Yeah, and it's one of those things. Like, it's kind of like um, you remember when we were kids. Like, ITV seemed to have the staple on showing eighties action films on TV and stuff. Yeah. Like, I remember seeing like they'd always be showing like a Die Hard, like all the trilogy or Robocop and stuff. So you mm. see, like, you'd watch one, you'd see the advert for the next come after it, and I remember seeing like uh, yeah, just always seeing the adverts. But I think maybe only once or twice seeing seeing Robocop too. Yeah, is it Pete Weller in the first two? Yeah, yeah, because he is awesome. Yeah, he's great. They say they talk about how how well he sells that. Like as you said, it's kind of it could be really stupid, and if you didn't believe that guy in the ro like as RoboCop, yeah, it would fall apart. But the way he moves, the way he talks, just everything is so good. Exactly. Like. And I mean, look at that! Like that, I cut that stance. That's uh, like I don't know how you'd think to stand. And walk like that, the, the way yeah. he kind of puts weight on what's obviously like what like the weird acrylic plastic suit. He makes it feel like yes. it's all like, <laughs> solid metal. When you when someone could like, I love that description of the robot. <laughs> yeah. Weird acrylic suit. Yeah, that's why I liked it so much. <gasps> There's the that's the villain from Robocop Oh, that's Robocop Two. He's a league with a terminal dot. I'm just gonna shoot him with the crotch. Oh, oh shit! Shit. There was a Robocop TV series as well, I remember. Oh, yeah. They did, like, a bunch of TV movies and stuff, didn't they? Mm. And TV series. I think they were all still PG-13, if my memory, memory serves me correct. It kind of makes sense for TV. They want to... I'm going to double-check that fact. Good job. Spouting Someone will bloody pull you up on that thing. Yeah, I just remember seeing, like, rows and rows of VHS tapes of it. In, like, yeah. uh, like a sort of... Like, the sales section of, like, a, like a Virgin, Virgin Megastore or something like that. Oh, the yeah, it was made to appeal primarily to children and young teenagers. It lacks the graphic violence that was the hallmark of Robocop and Robocop 2. Yeah. I like how the game's violent. Yeah, it's really Like, isn't violent. it weird that, like, they made two films that were, like, really violent, and then they made a third film that wasn't, a TV series that wasn't, and then they brought a game out, and you thought they'd just market this to kids, but then they're, yeah. like, you know... But I guess it's Terminator as well, and Terminator was, wasn't a key franchise. It never, 
Yeah. Not until turn there free. Yeah. Oof. Always the freeze. Always the freeze. What's they say, isn't it? It's like the like You should get your health or get back health there. there. Yeah, but I won't be on that fire though. Like kind of genre films are like seems like the trilogy is a hard one to nail off. I hope you see some sort of mutated melty, melty guys Robocop style. Can I go that way? Um, you can get in the middle? Maybe you can jump in the middle, yeah. I'm gonna risk it. Go. <laughs> oh. okay, right, I'm gonna fight the turn there this time. Shit. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. This is what we want to see. It's not. Front I guess face, I had quite face. a good. Uh, uh, yeah, I had like a better gun, touch didn't him. I? Touching him seems to be worse than his actual bullets. He's a tough old son of a bitch. Double. Oh, okay. Well, Dude, that muzzle flash on the is a lot faster than what you're firing. Yeah. Right, here we go, please could get up. Ribbit. Why do I turn that way automatically? Oh, oh. Stop walking into them. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's sweet crap. Do you know the backstory of the where James Cameron got the idea for the Terminator from? No. <laughs> so, from what I know, oh come <laughs> on, I killed him and died at the same time. <laughs> oh fuck! Sake. Bullshit! Bullshit! Isn't James Cameron coming back to do like more terminators? I think. Well, he's, he's. I think he's sorting out. Like, I think he might either have the rights back or he's, or he's getting them back mm. and sorting out distribution. But supposedly he's working. He's got the. Um, Tim Miller, the guy who did uh, directed Deadpool, yeah. supposedly like, he wants him to direct it, and they, they're kind of working up a story. I don't know if he has an idea for a story already, or if they're like trying to work up a treatment or what. But yeah, it's still I think I get the impression it's still quite early days, but he's wanting to. Well, and no, actually no, I guess they are moving forward because they've said Sarah Connor's going to be back. That like, he's bringing back Linda Hamilton. And, Ooh, so like uh, would that him retcon at, Terminator Three? I think she she died, didn't she? Unless they say like she faked her death or whatever, and it was all a ruse. <laughs> I get the impression that he will retcon it. retcon it because he'll go. This is a sequel to my time. Like, because so yeah, I guess he didn't have direct involvement with any others. If, is that right? If, see, I'm a, I, I love the first two Terminators, and I am a fan of Terminator Salvation. To an extent, I think it's. I think that's not one as bad gets as a people, lot more hate than it as people. Sense. Yeah, I think the McG there, like, it's, it, they can easily take the Mc out of it. It's not well, a lot bad. of people don't like it because they say it doesn't look like the war that you see in the first two Terminator films when they show the back. I mean, but mm. in the timeline, it's before that period. Mm. So it's like before they've even got to that point in time. Yeah. But then again, like the, you know, Hellebon Carter being the face of Skynet is a bit jarring. Yeah. There's some design choices. It goes through a bit of a mess towards the end. Like, yeah. From what I remember. Because like, if they manage to, oh, you like you got spread, you got you got this. Yeah. If you um, what was I gonna say? Like if they if they make a good job with the new I'll Terminator. Actually, destroy it. It's, it's awesome. I will. I will get back on board the Terminator. Yeah. So at the moment it's like it's a franchise I like to enjoy watching the first two. I don't really even Salvation, even though I just bigged it up, I haven't watched it in years. You don't have much of a desire to read this No, end. yeah. But I just remember it being kind of okay. I think I own it. Uh, the fr I only own the three Terminator films that I like. <laughs> I see that have Rose and Machines. <laughs> no. No. As soon as Arnie puts on these Elton John glasses, <laughs> I know, watching the wrong movie. Yeah. The problem with that is, is the car chase sequence through the town with the crane is awesome. Like, oh yeah, 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 swinging yeah. on the crane and going through the building. Like they, they did all that really well. That was a, that was a really, yeah, that's a cool set piece. That's but like really the good. Terminator franchise has always been built up ever since the second film of like a simple premise. What if this time, two Terminators are sent back? Mm. One is protecting John Connor, and one is against him and the other one that's against him is more powerful. And the third one they're like, what if there's a woman Terminator who is uh, a mixture of the T-1000 and the T-800? Mm. And then the fourth one it's like, what if there's a Terminator who doesn't know he's a Terminator? 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then the fifth one, it's like, what if John Connor is it's the Terminator? Terminator? And it's like, well, and at that point, you just go, no, <laughs> yeah. no. You're like, well, what's the premise that they could like bring back? I reckon a good premise for a Terminator film is what if 12 Terminators came back? Just a specific number, like 12 a Terminators. A gang of Terminators. And you're like, oh shit, how do you compete with 12 Terminators? Like, all just T-800s or something. Yeah. And one T-1000. Mm. Speaking of um, Arnie and Terminators and all that nonsense, I, uh, all that business, <laughs> I watched uh, The Last Action Hero the other day, for the oh, first time in years. Yeah, I used to love that film. What a movie. Yeah. That might be one of my favourite Arnold Schwarzenegger films he's ever done. Oh. The amount of piss taking of himself. Mm. In that movie is great. It's so ridiculous. I love the moment he's in the video store and like the kid's trying to prove to him that he's in a movie and he shows him the poster for Terminator 2 and it's Sylvester so Stallone. Slain, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, he's a great actor. <laughs> this is probably his best movie. <laughs> and it's like, he's talking about himself. <laughs> he's not talking about Sly Stallone there. <laughs> yeah. I just I remember like just loving the scene at the start where the kids... Um, where he's in school and he's reading, uh, he's being taught Hamlet, and then he pictures it yeah. in his head, and it's like Arnie's Hamlet. And it, is, it looks like a set of like an 80s sci fi It's so film, good. It's I'd great. love to it's watch really that. It's really good. I'd, yeah, I'd love to see Arnie do Hamlet like that. Yeah. Alright. Arnie, do my life. An eye for an eye! <laughs> I think he's not wearing a shirt for Terminator. Yeah. He's like all topless and he can leather Yeah, he looks more like he should be in. I don't know, like a. Well, well, he should be in Lost Boys with that sort of outfit. Yeah. He looks like he's sort of been styled up like a teen <laughs> sort of heartthrob. <laughs> well, I think that answers the question Robocop, the Terminator wins. <laughs> yeah, the Terminator always wins. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't have much else to say about this. I mean, it's hard to get through. We're not going to try and complete it. No, but. it's it's a it's a fine that type of game sort of mm. movie tie-in at the time. It's it's, it's yeah, it's all right. It's not it's pretty good. Not bad. I I enjoyed it, but yeah, it just got a bit. I don't know, it got a bit annoying when it started to. It felt like the difficulty ramped up in a way that was those two like there. those two toxic waste tanks yeah you can't like things like that when there's something that you, there's nothing you, you or it seems like there's nothing you can do about it with, it with skill it gets like annoying and there's too it's many like there's, I think at some points there's too many balls flying across the screen too yeah. many little guys popping out of uh, sewers and shooting and your life decreases really quickly that way and it's like if, you, if they sort of space them out a little bit more mm. like I'm basically saying make the game easier but <laughs> I think a little bit easier. Like, but then we could put it on easy, and then maybe it would have been easier. But I think those, like, the, as you say, like the balls and the trajectory of the balls, they don't give you the one. They don't give you enough space, and your Robocop character is so big and not nimble enough yeah, to like avoid the them properly. But had it, mm. so you could actually feasibly like I don't know, jump through them or duck. I mean, there's, there's not much you can get angry about. It's just fun. Mm. It's a fun game. It's yeah. quite cool. It's Robocop, it. Robocop vs. Robocopman. And then they'll do a sequel to Robocop vs. Terminator called Robo Terminator. <laughs> where it's like they, where Robocop <laughs> yeah. gets turned into a Terminator. Terminator. Yeah. yeah. It's like Robo, It's like uh, Attack of the Clones. They put Robocop's head on Terminator's body. Yeah. And Terminator's body goes on Robo. Uh, on, uh, what was it? I'm trying to remember the right yeah, word. Like, like C3PO yeah, on, the, on the battle board. droids. Yeah, heads. they do that. <laughs> yeah. They switch That's heads. the fight. That's the fight, yeah. Like, you've got Robocop's hulking body with a tiny little skeleton beady head on it. And then you've got Robocop's big <laughs> yeah. like, head. Oh, I'd like to see that as a versus. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> do that. Who would win in that fight when they just switch heads? Robinator. Yeah. Versus, versus Did look how many balls Terminator. are on the screen there. That was like... Yeah, he's for... Yeah, see, he can't avoid the hits. Yeah, even he's even the demo's struggling with the amount of balls. Yeah, let's see screen. how let's see how far the demo gets. Yeah, with maybe we get to see Ed two hundred nine with the demo of the game. I do kind of miss those days, of, like demos. Coming on. You see how quickly he was pulling his pistol out and yeah, so shooting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. That was Robocop versus Terminator for the Super Nintendo. Was that Genesis? I think Genesis or Ooh. the what did we call it? Sega Mega Drive. The Mega Drive. The Mega Drive from here. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, catch you around soon. <laughs>